Hello Pisces. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. Welcome to all my subscribers and new ones, ones that have been following me for a while. I appreciate you all. This is going to be your Twin Flame Soulmate reading for May or whenever you listen to this. Whenever you're guided, here is the perfect time for you. Always trust your intuition. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're a cross watcher, something like that. Okay, we're going to get started here. And we are going to see what lessons that Spirit really wants you to focus on. And what lessons you're, that Spirit's having your person focus on. Whoever that person is that you're thinking of or you're manifesting. Okay, for you, what lessons are you learning, Pisces? Or what lesson? Service. I feel good when I can help others. So right now, Spirit wants you to um, find ways that you can be of service. Like, how can you help others? How can you serve in the highest and best way, you know, depending on your circumstances right now? You know, how can you be best of service to the masculine? I'm going to see if I can shut this off and see if that helps. Because I feel like it's glaring still. Sorry about that. There we go. Let's see if that works. Okay, what about for your person? For this time period, the next four weeks, like, what's going on? Okay, so your person might be worried right now in this time period, worried about something. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, so perhaps your person has been riddled with anxiety and sleepless nights and worrying about things that they can't really control, you know, sort of tapping into the collective fears, right, which is a false reality as we know, but they've been worrying and perhaps it's because they are going to ask for forgiveness or they want forgiveness. They're hoping you forgive them. So, um, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Like not only have they been worried, but they've also been feeling resentful and regretful and all of those lower vibration energies. So what I get from this is how can you be of best service to your person right now, to yourself and to this connection? Well, how can you be best of service is to love yourself and be a living example of, you know, staying in alignment the best you can. Living life from an empowered, heart-centered place. Sending unconditional love from your heart space to their heart space to ease their anxieties. You know, if, you, if it is a true divine partner and you are living in unconditional love and you are living in alignment, then you know that it's highest and best for you to forgive the past because it's only hurting you to hold on to it. So is there something that spirit you want to pair with that service? For Pisces, ooh, that's a lot, but perseverance. Let go, uh, you, you'll get through anything. Let go of any guilt. You have a little empathy and peace is coming, but that's not really what I was looking for there. There we go discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this is you just focusing, focusing on what you want out of this. Focus on your life and what you want to do next. I mean, just being disciplined with your time, not allowing yourself to worry or be in this resentment or regret because that's, you know, now that you're tuning into your person. So help them be more disciplined and help them overcome this by you doing that. That's what I, I feel. And it's a process sometimes, so don't be so hard on yourself, you know. Just do the best you can. That's all any of us can do. Wow, that is a super glare. I'm not certain. I'm sorry about this. I'll take a little extra time on yours just to... I just want you to be able to see them, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can see the words at least. There we go. So that's what's being healed. That's what's being worked on. That's where spirit wants you to put your focus. Now, what about um, in your chakras? Any more messages about healing? Those are the lessons, which learning lessons is very healing. It helps you heal because it helps you come into balance and gain that knowledge and wisdom that you meant to from that experience, right? For you, what's being worked on is, you know, balancing yourself, balancing your energies by nurturing your inner child. 
going back to more of an innocence, a purity. See, we got the green heart energy on the service card. That's opening your heart space. Seeing things from spirit's point of view. Balancing, tempering your energies, bringing yourself into alignment. And you're manifesting these new beautiful beginnings. like Almost like an innocence and love, going back to an age of innocence where things are more balanced and stable and grounded, right? With the root chakra and the heart chakra working together. So it's really important for you right now to get outside, ground with Mother Earth, or imagine you are if you, if you have to be inside right now. But do something creative. Do something that makes your heart happy. Call a friend. Whatever that is, go play. Ride your bike. Dance around. That's how you're going to find the balance with all of this. Is by letting go and seeing the lighter side of life. And you can be disciplined and still get things done, but you can still have fun doing it, right? Okay, what about your person during this time? So you're finding balance in this time period. And, and a little, you know, having fun again, being like a kid, feeling like a teenager again, playing with your kids, you know, instead of so much discipline in the household, perhaps you're, the way you're of service to your children is just let them play and play with them. You know, I am getting that message for some parent out there. Okay, um, worry and forgiveness. So what's happening is spirit. Um, their spirit guides, God, source, infinite intelligence is working with them. This is, you know, crown chakra, right? And then this is the earth star chakra, so deep in Mother Earth. And I just felt with you, see, when you go ground yourself, I'm telling you, you're the example. When you go do these things and you exercise and you nurture yourself and you take care of yourself, your your person feels that energy and they like that energy. That's an empress energy, creation, expansion, growth. So your person is working on healing and letting go of the fears, nurturing themselves, taking better care of their physical bodies, meditating, connecting more, changing the way that they do things, trusting their higher mind, wanting more out of life. You see that like in their little cocoon, nurturing spirits, you know, pouring down that unconditional love. And you see how the heart, it's like all dark, like see the shadows coming into the light and it's their heart that's being activated. So earlier when I said, when you send loving energy to them, they feel it. That's what's helping them heal. You see that? Because you have a very beautiful uh, spiritual connection. It's a very nurturing connection. Wow, that's really, that's really beautiful healing, okay? And at the bottom is... Um, for the center of your connection, what brings you together is listening, paying attention. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. Pay attention to what spirit's telling you. Telepathic communication, your dreams, your meditations, because there's some kind of communication. And I really feel it's when you get outside and you have fun and you're happy and you nurture yourself and you're out in nature, that's when you get that. You know, the greatest thing is to take a walk with someone, your kids, your partner. Because that's when people are real honest when they're out in nature and they walk. And, and it's easier to communicate. So. Okay, with the Malefic deck, we're just going to see if, if there's any shadows or blocks or what's being really brought to the light for you and for your person just to you know kind of drive it home. Because I feel like this is a time period to really look at things and get things in balance so you can move forward into this brand new life, you know? New way of communicating, new portal it looks like. Okay, let's see, for you. So we have the Seven of Wands, that's, you know, toxic energy can be. So if we're seeing what's being healed and brought to the light is that you don't have to battle anymore, you can leave the battle. That's how I always see the Seven of Swords is like leaving the battle. So spirit saying you don't have to battle anymore. Just focus on yourself. Have fun. You know, let go a little. Let loose. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I said let go and let loose and just have a little fun. Yeah, that's exactly what you're supposed to do right now. Look, six of swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Balancing yourself. Letting go. Celebrating how far you've come. You know, even if it's a dance party at home by yourself or with your kids or whatever, you're celebrating, right? This is coming together, something to celebrate. I'm leaving the battle. I'm moving on. I'm literally deciding that I'm going to move, whatever that is, or go on a vacation, or when this all unfolds and everything opens up again, I'm going to see this person, or I'm going to do something different. 
you know, every, just whatever that is, celebrate that. You know, leave the battle. There's no reason that you have to stay in the battle. There's just no reason. What about for your person? So spirit's like, yeah, it's time to leave the battle for you. You've done it. You've been disciplined enough. You've been working hard. You've been doing it. I mean, be proud of yourself. For your person, it's healing and moving towards their wish fulfillment, their happiness finally. The shadows being brought to the light, opening them. Do you see how she's opening her dress? Like I'm opening myself up to the possibilities a little bit of allowing my wishes to come to me, allowing this healing to happen, right? Letting go. They're definitely healing. And focusing on happiness, right? Yeah. Letting go of anything that they were putting their efforts into that weren't getting them anywhere or weren't serving them very well. So the Eight of Pentacles is you put hard work into something. So they're letting go of whatever that is, a mindset, a belief system, whatever they've been working on in the material world. Perhaps they lost their job or something shifted during this time and they were a little worried. But now they're refocusing on what makes them happy, trusting spirit's guidance and, and this time period is helping them refocus on what they they really want in the material world on their physical body as well by nurturing themselves and meditating and things like that yeah instead of because it kind of came in like this right instead of being tight-lipped and keeping everything to themselves they would like to open up lines of communication here so spirits working with them so they don't have to feel so fearful about communication because i feel like they want forgiveness they're wondering if they're going to get forgiveness in this situation and they just not they're not sure how to communicate that so they're healing right they are putting effort into them their healing and refocusing balancing their head in their heart space so by you getting yourself in balance which is the key right it, it helps the connection what about within the union like you both parties so see you're focusing on celebrations you're leaving the battle your person's healing or you know finding that balance of their head and their heart spirituality and practicality moving towards wish fulfillment and within the union okay so it's been you know quite a lot that's the nine of wands that's you leaving the leaving behind in the battle the seven of wands and communicating right with the eight of wands and you got this like to me the nine of wands is like you're almost done it's almost the end of whatever cycle this is that you've been going through in this within this union and it's a time of rest. So during this time period, you may be on your own, you know, resting, meditating, finding your balance, same with your person. You know, it's more of an independent energy. But at some point in the next four weeks, there's going to be some kind of communication. Clarity coming in that's so crystal clear that you can't ignore it anymore. Uh, ready to communicate, taking this opportunity for the new beginnings. But that's all what's being transformed. So the key is rest, you know, take, take a rest, move on from the battle. They're taking a rest. They're healing. That's the key. That's when you're going to get to the point where you end this cycle of the battle and the fighting and the, you know, whatever's going on on both sides or between. And you find it by resting and trusting your internal guidance. And then the time will come when that communication comes in. That's what I'm feeling the most. And at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so something in the material world, some kind of communication in the material world. What is manifesting in your life now? We know it's being worked on. We know it's being healed. We know the lessons that we're learning. And you're listening and you're open and having fun again, finding a balance, knowing that it's all working out for you. And that, you know, it's just reminding yourself every day how lucky you are. And look at that. What did we talk about? I said this cycle, whatever this cycle is, that's not really great for the connection, not really great for either party is ending. And look, what's manifesting for you? The finality of something. Of the final countdown right it's done it's over whatever this toxic cycle was karmic cycle relationship situation where there was worry and regret and resentment and all of that spirit saying you've been good you're finding the balance discipline and part of it is letting go of this toxicity taking that rest so that's manifesting that opportunity of that ending finally and Ten of Swords is sword energy communication, so maybe ending the silence, right? That could be ending the silence finally, and then having this Ace of Swords, that makes sense. And look at this, ending the silence, and the Six of Cups comes out. 
So that's soulmate love. See how sweet that is? Look how many flowers are in that cup. It's like a really beautiful offer. And that's that inner child, right? Something about you knew them when you were a child or inner child healing is going to help the situation, help your connection. And it could have been a past life too because of Six of Cups, right? But there's an offer coming in. I'm telling you, there's communication coming in. That's what's coming in. Some kind of apology, some kind of communication, some kind of offer of love. And I feel like you're going to be celebrating. That's what Spirit's telling you. So we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah. Opportunity to move on. Freedom. Look, move. Freedom. Horses. Strength. Stamina. You have everything you need. This is moving on. Taking charge. Feeling passionate. Creative. Growing spiritually. Sensual. Sexy. I mean, that's all the Queen of Wands, right? But very grounded and stable Queen of Wands. And look at this. Tapping into your intuition. Trusting yourself. Reaching out for a personal tarot card reading, or perhaps you are a reader, but this is just you knowing, having that inner knowing. Things are being revealed. Secrets are being revealed. And things are moving forward. There's Maybe perhaps you're a little psychic and having dreams. Write th that stuff down. So this is the chariot. Here's the balance. Here's your balance. What's manifesting for you? Balance in this union. Balance in your life and forward movement. See? Again, forward movement. Horse forward movement. And then we have the, oh, look, the king of wands. So there you go, counterparts. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but this is a masculine who's taking charge. I'm making the offer. I'm finally going to do it. I'm ending this toxic cycle of this, you know, uncomfortable way of communicating or not communicating, right? Being silent. And then this is divine counterpart. See, it's like trust your intuition on this connection because this to me signifies divine counterparts, divine mirrors, you're mirrors of one another. You're teaching one another. But there's some kind of communication, I feel, from the King of Wands. That type of energy. That passionate energy. No longer being so silent and stoic King of Swords. What's transforming is that fire and that passion and drive. Finding that balance. Listening more and speaking less is helping the masculine take charge and light that inner flame. That's the key, right? Yeah, look at that. Remember I felt the eight of wands earlier, the communication? There it is. That's just spirit saying, yep, yeah, that's right. Believe it. Believe it, Pisces. Believe it. There's communication and it's fiery and it's fat. Oh my gosh. And then the nine of wands, 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 nine of wands comes out again. And see, the masculine's like, oh, I get it now. I can see beyond the illusions now. I lit that inner flame. See, there, he's holding it. There's my flame. I've got this. I see the future now. I see how bright it is. You know, and that's what he's communicating. I can, I see now. I, I'm awake now. I see now. I, that's what I keep hearing. Like, I can see. And look at the bottom of the deck. Is, look. Oh, see? Here's the offer. And it's going to be victorious. Look at the three cards that were on the bottom of the deck. Underlying what's manifesting for you in your life, personally. And obviously within this union, if you're listening to this, is what you want to know. Trust your intuition. Here comes that eight of pentacles again. That, that's what's transforming for your person is they're refocusing. Where do I want to put my efforts in? Well, guess what? I want to come and make this offer and make this real in the physical and offer something real, that cup of love, the very abundant flowery cup of love, and I want to make this offer. So this is the Knight of Pentacles on the move, slower, right? Knight of Pentacles is slower, but they're on the move. And then look, they got that Six of Wands energy to kind of kick up the speed now because they finally are tapping in and doing what they want to do, going after creative projects, a new job, literally moving, making the offer to their sacred lover, being open and receptive to an offer. It's going to be victorious. Spirit has their way with this one. They're helping to bring this together. So that fire has been lit and they want victory. The masculine wants victory. Feminine, the key for you, if you're the feminine in the situation, is just trust your intuition. Do not let anyone or anything else tell you otherwise. Keep your balance. Go after your dreams. Make good decisions for you because that's how all of this is happening and being brought together. It's beautiful. But you can look at the cards too, you know. Trust your guidance. You know, what are they telling you? I like the pictures on the steampunk cards. And I know it's a little harder, so let me move 
this up here so you can see the counterparts, you can see them together. And this is the communication. The lighting is a little difficult in this room sometimes, but you see all that fast moving energy, that's what the masculine wants, so trust, right? There's gonna be forward movement. With the romance angels, what is the energy around love for you? Your heart space? Oh, see, it's time to disconnect. What did I say? That's just spirit saying yes. Disconnect from the outside. Go get out in nature. Go ground yourself. And if you if you are in connection with your lover and you're just needing to heal and nurture it, we'll go on a walk together. Like I said, just get away. You know, even if it's just you know a little a little hike or something. So that's what spirit saying there. What else for Pisces, please, in their heart space? Yeah, time apart is already happening or, or it's on the horizon, but you're never really separated is what I feel. Like you're you're feeling one another energetically. Perhaps with this time you're you know, sort of separated for some reason. Someone may travel, be in the military, um, or you're just calling them in and you can feel their energy. But you know, it was a necessary part. So just disconnect from the world and trust your spiritual connection with this person because it's very strong. So trust that. It's very fiery. It's very passionate. All this different wand energy, and um, it's very nurturing and fun. So you know, hold that vision. Yeah, look at that. Someone from your past is returning. Yeah, reconciliation, past life. We get the six of cups, and we get this. I mean, that's the same energy. So yeah, it's time. It's time to bring this back around again. Bring it back to life. See that? So that's what's happening. What about what's going on in your person's heart space? Where are they at? Okay, they're taking off the mask. This, this is what's happening. They're, they're facing their fears, taking off the mask, being authentic, letting go of associations, being honest with people, you know, just no longer deceiving themselves because look, spirit's in their ear. They can't ignore it anymore. If they were trying to ignore it before, um, they just can't. So they're being more authentic and they're feeling very passionate towards the connection, towards their sacred lover. Look, the masculine is manifesting. Look, he's in the like physical, it looks like. It looks like the feminine still in the spirit realms. And then look, bringing it to life and being together. It's the same couple. So feeling very passionate about this reconciliation. No longer wanting to be manipulative or anything like that. They want to be completely authentic and just kind of go for it instead of you know holding themselves back. And they're working on self-worth, feeling worthy enough for your love. Really, that's their target. That's their intention. But, you know, they're really working on that. They've got some issues there, self-esteem issues. And they are keeping an open mind. They're, they're, they're working their way to be open to it because you're different from anyone that they've ever met. And you're unique in the way that you go about life and the things that you do may differ from, you know, and they may differ from your usual type. So just keep an open mind here. Get to know. Open up. So that's, this is them saying, I'm working on opening up. I know I deserve love. I don't want to deceive myself or hold myself back anymore. And they're feeling very passionate. And we're going to get a message for you as a final message for this time. I hope you enjoyed this. Please reach out to me if you want a personal reading or healing. Happy to do that, to dig in to your specific situation. Okay. Okay. Final message for Pisces, please. Final message. Well, there's two, but we'll see what. Okay, we have Mother Mary, love and peace. It's a pretty card. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. So if you have any mother healing, mother figure healing, you're a mother, love and peace is coming your way. And Mother Mary is with you to bring you that. And Lady Venus, ooh -hoo, yeah, downloads and understanding. Truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven in the astral realm. Yeah, I mean, I really feel that. I feel like you're just, trust yourself because you're getting the downloads. You're leveling up, you're ascending. So focus on that. I'm going to read from the book with that because I feel I'm really feeling that one. Lady Venus. Hearing high-pitched noises, seeing flickers of light, and having the sense that beings are visiting you in your sleep are all signs that you're receiving downloads from heaven. Whether this is happening 
or whenever this is happening, spend some time in contemplation so that you can ask the universe what you really need to know. This card also represents downloads of information being received by your mind. Know that the universe sees you as capable of holding soul-centered information that will help you and others reach a new level of understanding. Yeah, you're leveling up in such a big way, and by you focusing on that and holding your vision and staying in the light and shining that light out, you're changing things in this situation. You're helping it transform and getting a deeper understanding of why things have been the way they have so far. It's beautiful. Beautiful awakening. I'm wishing you so much love, and I'm always here for you.